Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the Patreons. Make sure to subscribe, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year. Uh, it's a long way, a long road, but help me out there and let's go guys. So, just like we did yesterday, uh, talking a little bit about the F-18, especially the specifically, right? On the F-18 uh, A's and C's, right? The, the Legacy Hornets, uh, Hornets, as they are called. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about F-16s, okay? The F-16 is an interesting aircraft as well. Uh, a lot of NATO countries use it. I mean, most of the countries on NATO, to be honest, and several others uh, actually use the F-16. And it is an aircraft that initially with the ACE had its limitations, right? It was an aircraft that had a problem with the radar range and other sorts of you know, minor things that the aircraft was just not meant to be doing, right? The design, the original design wasn't trying to actually do that. But then they actually added the C's and the D's, right? Which are from the block 25 until the block 50, right? 52, uh, which is the, the main, you know, horse of the F-16s, right? It's the mid to late 80s um f-16s so they have a lot of ad advantages over the older a's right so will they be op when can i expect them to be added so let's talk about these versions today okay so the first thing that you have to know is that the f-16 c's is a whole different beast on the the, the sense of how it is presented to the pilot and how can it employ the weapons so for example the cockpit is completely redesigned on the f-16 c's and d's right much better than before with mfds and stuff so much much better right this is the first thing avionics got modernized huds everything even with different upgrades done to it along the years we're not gonna talk too much about the upgrades uh or the sense of past 1991 because we're not even in the early, uh, late 80s yet with these versions of these aircraft, right? So we kind of don't need to talk about those yet. Uh, but the second thing that you have to know about these aircraft is that all of them got a new Raider, the APG-68. Uh, starting from the Block uh, 25, uh, the APG-68 was the main Raider. And although it wasn't like a completely different Raider from the original APG-66 of the Ace, it was a much improved aircraft uh, Raider, okay? It had TWS in all its versions, high PRF modes, so improved range as well, and just overall, a very good, uh, you know, BVR Raider. Also, some of these, I don't know about the Block 25 specifically, but I'm pretty sure that one as well. They all had radar, uh, ground modes, okay? So you can actually do air to ground as well and there is where i think the main thing about the f-16c's come which is just the weapons um it's much improved you know guided stuff it has a much improved situation before um than the a right so it can carry you know anti-ship uh no anti-ship sorry um i mean certain versions yes anti-ship but anti-radiation, um, better BVRs with the addition of the M120 uh, later in the Block 30s and stuff. And basically better Mavericks, you know, better A9s, uh, even better Sparrows. So here you can see kind of what the loadouts would be like. I already did a video talking about uh, the F-16C against the MiG-29S, how it would be, but yeah see how it would be it is pretty interesting to to see the amount of weapons that it could take right laser guided bombs you know mavericks with thermal sighting the lightning two targeting pod with thermals uh, of course the non-guided stuff as always but also in 9 ls in the future in 9 ms in 7 ms maybe better versions of the m7 m like the mh and even the m120s right so all of these can be used. So there, here is where the actual F-16 is much better. And it becomes a fully multi-role aircraft. And 
Although I still think that the F-18 is still a little bit better because of its anti-ship capabilities and general uh, loads that it can take and stuff. The F-16 gets really close to that in the sense of multi-role missions, right? It can basically do anything. And that's where, yeah, as I said, it would be the main difference between the A and the C. You would not see just an ADF that can only do air-to-air -air and a Block 10 that only has IR guided missiles, but it has ground ordnance, you know, it would be kind of everything. Everything would be able to be done with these aircraft. And of course, the last thing that obviously these aircraft would have is the different engines. So the Block 30, the Block 40, and the Block 50, all of that, uh, the, the Block 30 series, the Block 40 series, and Block 50s have their own, um, you know, upgrades done to it. Um, like, for example, the 30 with the anti-ship, uh, anti-radiation missiles in aim 20s you can see better electronic warfare equipment, you can see the Block 40 with its lantern pod and basically all-weather strike capabilities, right, night attack capabilities and stuff, uh, the Block 50 with better uh, uh, navigation systems, GPS and stuff like that, so each of these will have its own features and unique stuff, so it depends on where they want to actually add these things. Uh, the harder, the meaning, the, the higher the block it is, the heavier they got. So the block 30 is the sweet spot because um, it gets, it is the first that gets the new engine, the F-110, right? So the block 30, 40, and 50, they all the th three of those, they have the F-120, uh, F, sorry, F-110 engine made by GE. Uh, which is a much better engine for the type of mission that the F-16 would uh, see, right? So, it's a very, very interesting aircraft and I really, really hope it's added. I already talked about these aircraft a lot. I have multiple videos that I talk about how they could implement it in Israelis and other nations and stuff. But it's just another level aircraft. And there is the question. Uh, I bring up the question just like I did yesterday talking about the F-18, right? Uh, there is these three aircraft for the US, the F-16Cs, the F-18s, and then the F-15s. All these three can be added right now, they would not be OP. It would be basically the same from what we have with some step ups, right? So the F-16C kind of falls into that direction. I don't know if they're going to add it now or soon or, you know, or uh, later. Uh, but these three aircraft, as I said, I mean, we can expect at least two of them, I think, until the end of the year. And the F-16C, I think it's one of the main competitors in that situation because we already have it in the game. So it's a more logical thing as a developer, maybe, to actually add that aircraft like this because it would be just a very small upgrade compared to what an F-16 would be like uh, on a sense of balancing purposes and stuff like that, you know? So expect this aircraft to come very, very soon, like very soon. I would say that like next patch or the patch after that, we will probably see the F-16C coming up. What block? I mean, I don't know, hopefully at least the 30, as I said, because then it gets the, the, the new engine, would, which would be very, very cool. The 25 is cool, but it doesn't have the new engine. The 32, 42, and 52 also don't have the new engine, so uh, I really would enjoy to see the, uh, the General Electric engine on these. Of course, the Block 40 would be even cooler because as a multi-role platform, it would be even better at that because of the night attack possibilities with MVDs and stuff. So even if Block 40 would be even better if they add that. And of course the Block 50, I mean, yes, but the 50 from the 40 doesn't majorly change the aircraft, right? It's more navigation systems and more advanced missiles that it can carry, like the Har missile, JDAN and stuff like that, right? Uh, but the main thing would be the floor, the 40, I think, and that's the one that I will, um, you know, enjoy uh, mo the most, I think, uh, because it's a little bit, you know, lighter and it would make sense, right? But anyway, which aircraft do you want to see? Which F-16C do you want to see in the game? And how soon do you think we will see something like this. Block 30, block 40, which one? So uh, comment down below, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, see you.